In order to have cameras installed on your property, there are two things required. Power and internet. First, let's talk about power. Your camera will come with an injector, which provides power to the camera. The injector is plugged into a nearby outlet. The green arrow represents the cable needed to connect the injector to the camera. We need to know how many feet this distance is to provide you with the proper cable length. Next, let's talk about connecting your camera to the internet. You will be supplied with two Ubiquiti antennas that act as an invisible wire from your camera back to your Wi-Fi router. One Ubiquiti antenna will be located in your home and be connected to your internet router. The other Ubiquiti antenna will be installed beside the camera. Just like the camera, the Ubiquiti antenna also has its own injector to provide itself with power. As represented with the blue arrow, we need to know how many feet this distance is to provide you with the proper cable length. In summary, we need to know the length of the cable needed for the camera injector represented by the green arrow, and the length of the cable needed for the ubiquity injector, represented by the blue arrow. The ubiquity antenna installed in your house will need to be connected to your internet router. The ideal situation is if your internet router is located in a room with a window that is facing the desired location of the camera. Just like the Ubiquiti antenna for the camera, the Ubiquiti antenna for the internet router will come with an injector to provide itself with power. It will need to be plugged in, and we will need to know the length of the cable needed to connect the Ubiquiti antenna injector to the internet router, as represented by the green line. But what happens if your internet router is located in a room without a window facing your desired camera location. In this case, we will need to add power line adapters. Power line adapters come in pairs of two. One plugs directly into an outlet in the room where the internet router is located. The other plugs into the outlet of a room where there is a window with a clear line of sight to the desired camera location. The power line adapters use your existing electrical wiring as if there was a cable between the two power line adapters. A cable would be needed to connect the internet router to the power line adapter in the same room, and we would need to know the length of the cable. And in the room with the window facing the desired camera location, a wire would be needed to connect the ubiquity antenna to the power line adapter. We would also need to know the length of this cable. 